Now that I'm waiting for the shrinking to happen on the rear bar, um, I'm coming to the workshop to cut the front bow. Now this bow isn't really holding much weight really, it's more, um, I know it's probably very unconventional but this is how I'm doing it. Um, it's quite narrow, it's 25 across by 75. The 75 matches the rear bow in the sense of the width. The rear bow is 75 by 50 by 3. This is 75 by 25 by 2. Keep the weight down. And this one is primarily to tie in via the roof. I'm going to use something similar um, that will go across from the front bow in the corner all the way to the rear bow to the overhang and I'm going to bolt it down through into the steel. Now I don't know whether I'll still use this stuff and then make some sort of like um, rack mechanism so that it can bridge from one side of the truck to the other and create some sort of protection for the roof and the max air fan and the solar panels and all that sort of stuff. Or maybe use alley. Either way um, I'm going to make this front bow so it can also support a normal household acorn unit, the um, condenser side, compressor side, compressor side. Um, or is it condenser? I think it's condenser. The evaporator's on the inside, isn't it? So the idea is it can take one of those, well, similar to this box on the side of my house, I guess, but not as big. So this is a household one, um, quite a big one. I'm going to go for the smallest version. Um, these are about 30 kilos in weight. This one will be more because it's bigger. And you can see the bracketry required there. So it'll be similar to this, sitting up towards the top of the roof. I know there's quite a lot of weight um, up high, but honestly, um, I think it's going to be fine. Um, and I've did a quick CAD drawing, as you can see. A lot, as the case may be. I can't really see that. But anyway, so I'm basing my figures on that. So I'm going to cut the two sides, the uprights. They're 2750. The one going across there, that's the top of the roof. This is the one that will support the aircon um, bracketry, these two. And then this bottom one is the bottom plate that will be welded to the bed including these two legs with some strengthening um, to hold the whole thing upright. Um, and then there'll be some bracing underneath that I'll show you um, when I get closer to that. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, I'm just going to start cutting the material with my trusty saw. So we're back at it again. Um, this time we're doing the, I don't know why I say we, me. Uh, this is the second bow. This is the front one, so between the cab and the box much lighter gauge than the rear one because the rear one has to contend with the weight of the of the actual um, ramp um, and to lift the rear wheels off the back as a contingency plan oh i didn't talk about that have i i'll talk about that when i go back to the uh, rear bow which is outside the front of the house so here we go i've just tacked this you can see this is much lighter gauge this is only 25 mil by 2 mil thick gal, 75 across. Um, and I'm in the process of tacking it and trying to keep it square. This one will basically, that's the top there. So we're looking at the top one, and this one is slightly bigger than the real one because this is going to be flush with the ceiling. So the material, the composite material, this is the roof part, will actually come here and be flush with this part. Um, I'll explain why they're that way. Um, it's actually on the truck, it's a lot easier to visualize. This one here, which isn't been put in yet, this is 700 down from the top, which is going to have those two supports there put in between. And if you can imagine one of those units, the aircon slip system sitting there um, on L brackets. Um, I haven't got the aircon unit as such, so I just did an average of what most aircon exterior units would be. And I'm going to put those so that they're 
700 apart um, from outer edge to outer edge. And hopefully that'll be enough and then hook up there. This big opening here is nothing really. All you'll see is a panel behind that. Um, I will put some little fillets in the corners so we can put the running lights in. And down here, this extra bit here, is that sort of cantilever effect to support the system. This is not actually going to be, well, I say it's not going to be structural, of course it's structural. It's going to have tie points at the top, just like the rear bow. And there's going to be a piece of metal that goes from one bow to the next on the roof. So it's like an exoskeleton, I guess, just to tie the two together. This one is primary um, function is to really to hold the aircon unit and to tie in the box to the back bow to give the whole thing extra rigidity. It also lends itself to being able to, because um, it's two mil thick, if I want to put anything else on there, not that there's much room between this and the cab, but I can always um, put nut certs in there and bolt things to it that way or even weld to it if I want to um, should mess up the finish but if it's absolutely necessary I can tilt the cab forward and um, get access to it that way and it'll be handy for when I put the um, crawl through in as well which will be below that beam. I did think about making that a bit higher but if I go any higher it will make that aircon unit almost level with the roof I don't want that, I want it below the roof line, lower the centre of gravity, but also um, I can brace it from the top. I'll put two plates down to the actual aircon frame, and that will afford some protection from tree branches or something that might hit it. Um, and hopefully I've got enough room then, I should do, I've done enough measurement. There should be enough room under here, somewhere there. Is um, where the um, crawl proof will go. So hopefully I've left enough room. I'll double check again. But um, as far as I can tell, I've got enough room for a crawl through. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this because it's um, doing my head in. I want it done today. It's extremely humid today. It keeps on trying to thunder and rain, but nothing's happening. But it's sweaty. These are now clamped to death. See? Ready for attack those. I'm going to do that one and then I'll um, flip it over and do the other side and then hopefully fully weld it. making the light holders for the front bow. Now it's a bit cooler, so I've got two plates, three mil thick, and it's for these Narva lights which are gonna go there. Um, I'm going to thread them, and these two will go vertically on the actual front bow. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. It'll be the same as the rear ones. Um, the rear ones are already done, but what I'm doing is I'm going to just look these are the plates that are going to hold the lights and they'll attack there's a bit of rigidity as well so one's going to go here like so that there just to protect the light and the other one is going to go in the opposite corner down there um, yeah because this is the top of the bow so that's what I'm going to do in a minute 
and then I'll probably put something perhaps down here to give us some triangulation and a bit over there um, just to give it some more rigidity. I think she should be fine because we're going um, broadside on, not end on. It should be good. Um, so yeah, that's the next step. pieces have been welded, little fillets to give it a bit of rigidity and the light brackets. So this is the inside of the bow, so this is where the composite panel will be stuck on, so everything here has to be flush or as much as I could without losing the integrity of the weld. And now I'm going to flip it over so I can weld the tie brackets that are going to go at the top, which I can't find at the moment. No, not there. Um, somewhere, 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 somewhere. Just had them right in my hand. I think I'll lose this case. Things just disappear. Anyway, I'll find them and show. They're exactly the same as the front bow, the rear bow ones, um, but they're going on the front. So now I'm going to just give this paint a little bit of time to dry. Have a chat to little Marjorie Jelly. Please, for the pleasure. What's she doing there? She come to look at the work. She come to see my work over there. Is she? Good boy. Come see, come see. Good boy, she. Good boy. Oh, here comes big boy. Hello. You come to have a look as well. All right, Daddy, go do some work. All right, let's go find those brackets. So, Chloe's been turned over. That's the light fitting bracket, and this is the tie-in for the top of the bow to match the front of the rear one. There's the other one from the corner. So I'm just going to mark out where the um, I need to grind the gal on to weld it. And yeah. A bit of a mission clamping it, but it's clamped. And it's 3mm past the edge, if you can see that. Because that's where these angled aluminium extrusions are going to be when the box is finished. I don't want it to be flush here, ideally. Um, yeah, in anticipation of it all working properly. But anyway, time to tack it and then I'll do the other side separately before I fall over and break my neck and all this wire.
as you know, I'm putting in one of these split systems. So this is the um, condenser that I've taken and I'm making the um, frame to hold the aircon in place at the top of the front bow that goes between the cab and the box. Just go here and I just thought I'd bring you along with me to show you how I'm doing that. Um, I'm a bit pushed for time because tomorrow I'm supposed to be putting this bow on the actual bed but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that deadline. Time is flying already. Weekend on well, Saturday today so So it's clamped in, I'm going to tack it, flip it over and tack it, make sure it's all flat, reasonably flat, and that's acting as a brace, that will actually go at the top here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to double check the width of it, make sure the aircon can actually slide through. Last thing I want to do is make this thing and then... has to be behind the unit for it to draw air is more than 50 or no less than 50 mil so um, this is the front so this is where the truck body will be you know the box and I've decided to come in about 20 mil or 15 mil so from the centers according to this it's 470 in the width and that actually says 308 so I Unfortunately, I haven't done much filming because I just wanted to get on with it because the um, contraption that's going to lift this thing is going back tomorrow and I made a mark and I'll make it for an hour or so to help me. So I need to get this on pronto.
it's welded. But I'll get this out through the other side of the house because it's too big to go under my carport. And um, yeah, I don't want to waste his time. So, over and out for now. Next week, guys, we're, I'm going to show you how I put the front and rear bow onto the actual bed, which um, is going to be quite interesting, uh, especially that I haven't got a forklift. I'm going to use a material handler to actually put it on. So that should be cool.